Hey guys, Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me for another video. Today I'm doing part five of my July stamp set of the month. Now, if you watch these videos and you saw last week's video, I said last week was part five. Well, I had been on vacation and, you know, lost all sense of time and had to catch up with everything. So this is actually part five. That was part four. This is part five. So this is like the bonus bonus video. So I made some cute cards. They're Z fold cards. I love them. And if you like them, please give this video a thumbs up and then leave me a comment. Let me know which of the two cards is your favorite and you could win that card because every week I raffle off one of the cards I make and if you comment, you get your name into the drawing for that. So the winner of last week's card is getting this card right here that has a surprise shaker card on the inside. So the winner of this card is going to appear across the screen right now. I will make sure and reach out to you so I can get your address and get your card sent out to you right away. And now let's get to making some Z Fold cards featuring the Good Mix Stampin' Die Set from Honeybee. So I'm going to start this video with a disclaimer. I am going to be coloring with Copic markers, which is why I'm inking this up with the Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. But if you want to learn how to color with Copic markers, this is not the video for that. I am a newbie to Copic coloring, and so I, I don't have like how-to tips and things like that for you. But if you are also new to Copic coloring, then I my recommendation to you is to just keep coloring. Keep playing with it, keep practicing. Um, I get frustrated with it too, and I'll give you a tip which you'll probably notice throughout this video. Um, for me, being new at this, I usually stamp the thing I wanna color two times. And the first time, I color it, that's my practice. Almost never does the first one turn out how I want it to. And so then I just color the second one. And that goes for the images that I'm doing for today's cards. So I like to use two or three colors doing, you know, the shading and all that. So that's what I am attempting to do on these. And um, I mean, I like how the end result turned out. The blue part of the record player was not my favorite, but I didn't hate it enough to throw it out and start over. So yeah, there's that. So I'm just gonna keep working on my Copic coloring and I really enjoy doing it. Um, even when it turns out bad, I, I, you know, I don't get too frustrated. So, you know, it's something I'm gonna keep working on. If you are interested in the colors that I've used to color these things, I did put them in the upper left corner of the screen so you can reference that. And then um, I am making two cards today, but I'm only showing the coloring of the record player. I did the same exact colors and techniques with the boom box and the cassette tapes for the second card. So there's no um, significant differences there. So um, I have learned that I like to saturate the paper with the lightest color and then I bring in my medium color and then my darkest and then I bring back the medium, bring back the light and blend out in that order. But you know, that's not a hard and fast rule for every time I color with Copic markers. I find that things can be a little bit different for as as far as those rules go, if you're coloring like a really small image or a really big image, it, you know, it just depends. Um, I am using Copic um, Classic markers here. Oh, I don't even remember which ones. They're the square ones. They have a bullet tip and a chisel tip. And I did use both of them on this. Um, I only have a few markers that are the brush tips for Copics and so um, I, you know, play around with what I have and will gradually build up my collection. Probably as I get more comfortable with coloring with them, I will get some more, but I kind of want to really get a feel for it before I, you know, dive in and make a huge investment. 
So yeah, we'll just see how it goes. But the record player did turn out a little darker than I wanted and I just had to go with it. You know, sometimes when you're creating things take a turn and go in a new direction other than what you had planned. So that's what happened here. Um, I will say blending with these yellow red markers, which I would call orange markers, was my favorite. I love the look of it. It just, it makes me happy. It's warm. The blend, like how it um, blends out into the lightest color, I think looks really good. So, and after I was done coloring, I brought in a white gel pen and added some white accents. I went around this little centerpiece because some of my marker bled. That's one of my biggest um, obstacles with Copic coloring is that I sometimes get too close to the line and bleed over. So I'm working on that. And I just think that the white accents make this project. So while the white gel pen dries, I am folding my cardstock on the scored lines. This is a four and a fourth by 11 inch piece of paper scored at five and a half and four and a fourth. And then you fold it in a Z shape. So you fold it in half and then fold the front cover back. I die cut out my record player and I'm gonna set that aside while I stamp some panels for this card. So this one measures two and a half by four inches and it will fit on the outside flap of this card. I picked three little images from the Good Mix stamp set and stamped those with Tangerine Fusion ink by Fun Stamper's Journey on the same color of cardstock, Fun, uh, Tangerine Fusion. And I'm just turning this block a little bit each time as I stamp it to make the pattern more random as well as stamping off the side. This is the panel for the inside of the card. It's four inches by five and a fourth. I'm using the same heart star lightning bolt images, but these ones are just the outline where on the previous piece they were the solid. So I love that the stamp set comes with both for all three of these images. So you could stamp over the top and have an outline or you can use them separately. So this is Beach Breeze paper and I'm stamping it with Beach Ball ink, both also from Fun Stamper's Journey and turning the stamp each time that I do to create that random background. I need a second little accent piece for the front of my card. So I'm inking up this microphone with VersaFine Onyx black ink and embossing it with clear powder. and that will be a cute accent. And by the way, that is tin pale cardstock that I stamped it on. Very light gray, I love it. Then I cut out a piece of um, lightweight chipboard. It's just packaging from a different Honeybee stamp set. And I am mounting the record player to it. So I use the same die that I cut out the record player with to cut that chipboard piece. And that's gonna make my piece really sturdy. I made sure and put the glue on the side that had the writing on it and the other side is white so you won't see any of the writing from the chipboard when you open and close this card. Now I'm gonna glue on those panels that I stamped and you can see when I do that, there is a border of white all the way around and I love how that looks but you could also make this so that the panel was flush with the card. Just, you know, a different look. So we've got those two glued down and it looks so good love these colors together. So bright and so fun. So now when we mount this to the card, you can see only part of it is going to be stuck down to the card. The other part will actually kind of just be suspended there. So that's why I chose to put the chipboard piece behind it. You could also do a couple layers of cardstock to make it sturdier. That would work. So I'm mounting this only to that left hand side of the card with some double stick tape. It's called white liner tape from Fun Stamper's Journey. And this will make the kind of focal point for this card. And that little microphone, I'm gonna go ahead and mount to the front of the card with some foam squares. And that's gonna go in the bottom left corner near that record player image. Right there. Love it. Such cute stamps in the set. I'm gonna take some of the music notes from the Rockstar Sentiment stamp set. I've shown this several times um, throughout the stamp set of the month series and have used these. I, I love it. There's, they're like great little filler images for these cards. So I'm picking those up with a block and I've already arranged them how I want them to look on my card so I can ink all three of them up at one time and stamp all three of them down at the same time. And there we go. 
doesn't look great. So now we need a little piece for the inside. I'm going to use that same record player die and die cut a piece of tangerine fusion cardstock. I'll stamp that with you spin me round like a record. So that'll be the sentiment for the inside of our card. And I'm going to use that same VersaFine Onyx Black ink and stamp that towards the top of this little rounded rectangle so that there's still room to write a personalized message beneath that. Now what I'm going to do here is put the glue on the back of this panel and to glue it down, I'm going to line it up with the front piece. I'm going to hold that in place and close the back of the card onto it. That way I know when this card is closed, those two pieces will be lined up. It's almost like the piece on the front will hide the one that's on the inside. I'm going to put a heavy block on that to make sure that it sticks down. And once that's dry, I'm bringing in a shimmer gel pen and I'm gonna color in this microphone. It just needed some shine really bad. So I, I thought I'll color in the bottom of this microphone. Then I was like, but you know, the top part is also kind of shiny. So like a nut, I went in and colored every tiny little diamond on that microphone. And then I was like, well, I've come this far. Why not just color the whole entire thing? So I did, and I love it. It looks really good. <laughs> so that is the first card. I, I'm really happy with it. I love the colors. So let's take this card and make a second version, but we're gonna use the boom box and some mixed tapes. I've got everything cut, ready to go, but I'm gonna flip this around a little bit. So the front panel of this card is gonna be stamped with the solid images with that beach breeze paper and beach ball ink. So the other card, this panel was orange, so we're just flipping it. Then the inside piece will be the Tangerine Fusion stamped with the open images and Tangerine Fusion ink. So it's just a little similar to the first card, but a little bit different. And that's the theme this month, making two cards inspired by the first card. And you can see I accidentally stamped the open images when I wanted the solid ones there, but you know, you just flip the paper over and we'll let that dry while we get the boom box ready. I've got a piece of lightweight chipboard to glue to the back of it. And again, I'm gluing down the side that has the writing on it so that the white side will be on the back and will not have anything to distract you when you open that card. All right, so this will be the piece that goes on the inside of the card. It's just the boom box cut from that Beach Breeze paper. And this time I am picking out a sentiment from the Rockstar sentiment stamp set. The first time I picked one out, that was the, the stamp set is called um, For the Record. Both of those came out at the same time as the Good Mix stamp and die set. So they are just super cool add-ons that you can get to go with your Good Mix stamp and die set. All right, so I have the two little cassette tapes, which make me so happy. I'm gonna put them on the card in the corner with some foam squares like I did for the microphone on card number one. And I'm gonna lay those out and kind of get a feel for where I want them first. And then I'll go ahead and remove the backing and go for it, commit to it, stick them down. And I love how they look on there. And I, um, I really thought the music notes would go great on here, just like they did on the first one. So I went ahead and stamped those in the same spot. And so cool. I don't even know which one I like better. You guys are gonna have to tell me which one you like best. And remember, leave a comment below and tell me and you could win your favorite card. I'll announce it on next Monday's video, which will be the August stamp set of the month video. Very exciting, a new stamp set. All right, so I'm bringing in some gel pens. First, I have a black gel pen. I'm going to draw in the little tuner for the radio. It's a straight line all the way across and then I did the vertical lines going short line, long line, short line, long line. I, it's just what I thought would look good there. And then I have that uh, glittery, shimmery gel pen that I'm coloring in the middle of the speakers. And then last but not least, I will bring in my white gel pen and put those accents back onto the speakers. So the first time I draw them in, I made them like kind of like scratchy lines, like you know when you roll, you draw with your gel pen, it will kind of skip sometimes if you don't press down very much. And so that's what I thought I would go for. But in the end, I didn't like it. So you'll see later that I did go back and kind of 
fill them in. I'm also adding a little white spot to the buttons so you know they look shiny they look like the lights hitting them it just really helps bring it to life so here i am filling in those um, skip lines that i didn't care for and i really like it bright white it just goes with this crisp clean card and that's card number two if you're interested in any of the products i used i did link all of them for you below you can also find this project on my blog as well as Instagram. I have the links to all my worldwide web places that I like to hang out. So you tell me which one is your favorite. And if you like this video, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. I have new videos every week, usually twice a week. So you should come back and check them out. I'd love it. All right. I hope that you guys have a fabulous week and I will see you again very soon. Happy stamping. Bye.